oral hairy leukoplakia. The cause, Epstein-Barr virus. Now, how can we relate Epstein-Barr to the name oral hairy leukoplakia? Let's see. Now, Epstein-Barr, let's first look at the second part, which is bar. Bar here is a soap bar. And now let's look at the first part, which is Epstein. And this is the brand of this soap bar. So we have a soap bar of the brand Epstein, and it happens to be excellent for hair. Okay, so we have Epstein bar that is great for hair. So oral hairy leukoplakia is related to Epstein bar virus. Okay, now clinical signs and symptoms white patch on the lateral borders of the tongue that is often bilateral. How can we remember this site for oral hairy leukoplakia? Now, oral hairy leukoplakia. Hairy here is means hair, okay? Now, does hair surround one side of the face or both sides of the face? Of course, it surrounds both sides of the face, which means that it is bilateral and occurs on the lateral surfaces. So, oral hairy leukoplakia, hairy is hair, Hair surrounds both sides of the face, which means that it occurs on both sides of the tongue. Histology. Coilocyte-like cells in prickle cell layer are seen in the histology of oral hairy leukoplakia. How can we relate coilocyte to oral hairy leukoplakia? Again, we're looking at the word hairy, but here it means curly hair, okay? Now, what does curly hair resemble? It resembles a coil. It looks like a coil, okay? So we can say that curly hair is coily hair, which means coilocyte. So oral hairy leukoplakia, hair, remember curly hair, coils coilocyte. So the whole mnemonic for this oral hairy leukoplakia is wash your coily hair with Epstein-Barr. Coily hair means coilocyte, and Epstein so bar means Epstein bar virus, which could be the cause for this condition.